All right, so we are going to take the new Bolt EV up to my parents' house. We are leaving with half a charge on the battery, which is pretty much the equivalent of a full charge on, on my car. Uh, we have the heat on because it's awfully cold this morning, and there is 82 miles with the uh, heat on right now. So that is pretty much what my car would, would show if I had the heat on. And if I wanted to get the maximum amount of miles, I would turn the heat off and then it would shoot up to like 100. So, and that's what you would need to do a round trip without recharging. However, we want to try out the DC fast charger for the first time with this vehicle. So we don't mind leaving with half a charge and where we're going is about 30 miles away. So we should deplete a whole nother bank of batteries there and be left with 25% in the vehicle, which is uh, a good uh, spot to start charging on a fast charge. The lower the battery is, the faster it charges, and the more of a charge it can take at once. So, so this is a, this is going to be our uh, test run uh, DC fast charging. And there we go. We've got the uh, GPS set. That's through Android Auto there, and we have 77 miles that we can go on this charge. Ben's back here enjoying the ride. Say hi, Ben. Chicken nuggets? Yeah. Yeah? Are you hungry? Yes. Wow. What? The batteries. The batteries? But a idea. Yeah, there's, there's batteries. The, the car has batteries. <laughs> it's so awesome that he, he knows that. <laughs> so anyways, uh, change of plans here. Uh, we were on our way to Augusta, and I decided to check out PlugShare for whatever reason, and when I did, the one and only EV Go station that is uh, available there, <laughs> it was down. And it, that station is never down, so I'm so glad that, that we uh, checked that. Um, we had more than enough range to, to uh, make it there and back had we needed to, but we decided to, you know, at the 15 mile mark, which is more or less halfway there, uh, just turn around. Uh, we came home, we had probably 35 miles left on the car. Uh, I decided to bring it to the dealership and as you can see, I'm back, we're back up to 81 miles, and that's with the heat on. So I basically just charged it to about halfway off of their uh, quote-unquote fast charger, but it's, um, it's not an actual fast charger. It's, it charges at like 24 kilowatts, so <laughs> about half of what you would get in the real world. And that's actually the, the charger itself. The charger itself is a uh, 24 or 25 kilowatt charger, but it was charging at a rate of like 17 or 18. So it's, uh, it's definitely not, not a uh, fast charger. So anyways, we are going to do a fast charger today once we can finally come across one that's working. So, and that's the whole reason for this trip today is to just try the fast charger for the first time, a true fast charger to see what it's like. So, uh, what a day. Uh, the one time I wanted to try something new, we were unsuccessful on both attempts. Uh, the first one, we were on our way to Augusta, as I had stated earlier, and found out that that unit was uh, broken. Uh, we then decided to head our way to Thompson, Maine, uh, because we could do some shopping while we were there, too. But when we got to that one, uh, so it was occupied. <laughs> and in this situation, it was someone from out of state. They had Massachusetts license plates. Um, we had drove by originally, and I took a peek and I was like oh it, it just finished up so maybe they'll uh, come out soon and unplug and be on their way and then we can plug in so what we decided to do was go across the street and grab a bite to eat at Wendy's we figured after lunch they must unplug by then and then we could plug in and we were just gonna again we were here to try it out for the first time well that wasn't the case <laughs> after lunch we came back and they were still plugged in uh, still not charging. Again, they received their full charge, so we're like, oh, come on, what the heck? So what we decided to do was uh, then go to Target and do our weekly uh, shopping there at Target. When we were all done shopping, we came back one more time just to see if they were still there, and of course they were still there. So it was, it was a fail. Um, we went back home. We had enough charge to get home, but again, this, the whole point to this was to try it out for the first time. Any other circumstance, I don't know. Would I unplug them? I mean, if it's not charging anymore, if they got their full charge, part of me would want to do that, but that's a road I wasn't willing to go down, at least not with uh, uh, my wife and Ben in tow. So 
here I am. <laughs> I am back in Thompson. It is late at night, and I am going to try out this uh, EVgo system for the first time in the Chevrolet Bolt EV. So this is cool. I'll be able to, for the first time, use the CCS plug versus the Chatamo, which is what I'm accustomed to with my Nissan Leaf. So there's the uh, CCS plug there. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And there we go. For the first time, we are now fast charging the Bolt EV. And as you can see, I'm charging at a rate of about 35 kilowatts. So that's that's not bad. Uh, I believe it's got room to improve, but 35 kilowatts, I'm not going to complain about that. It's much better than the 17 at the dealership. So, uh, but yeah, I'm going to hang out here, let it charge up some. I'm watching uh, Back to the Future on the uh, screen here. So the infotainment center. So I'll sit here and enjoy that. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, keep you guys updated. So this is cool. I wanted to see what happens if I turn off the vehicle. I mean, the vehicle was already off before I started this. And then I got in and I turned it on and got back to the future going. But uh, I decided to real quickly uh, just turn off the vehicle and see what happens. And sure enough, it shows you right here on the screen that uh, I have 33 more minutes to go. So that's, that's not bad. Um, I like how it does that, though. I like how it shows you right here. Uh, even though it's off, I think if I were to open the door, let's let's find out here. Um, if I open the door and then close it, so I I left the keys in the car when I opened the door, so that's why it beeped at me. Um, but it looks like this screen stays on, which doesn't matter because um, it's not like you're wasting any energy if you're hooked up and you're uh, plugged in. So that that's cool. I like that, and you can see I'm up to 36 kilowatts, so it's actually increasing. Uh, as I sit here, but and I'm already up to 109, so that's uh, that is not bad. So I'm just gonna sit here and keep watching Back to the Future and enjoy my uh, stay. <laughs> and there we go. I got myself up to about an 80% of a charge, so it was a good learning experience with the uh, CCS style plug there. Um, I'm now confident that we can take this vehicle on a long distance uh, road trip, and we're actually planning one in the next month or so. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.